So today I am back out here at Poison Canyon. I'm going to try and get back out to this uh, mining area. It's a bit of a walk because uh, the gates are all locked. I don't think they're supposed to be because technically this is access to BLM uh, property, Bureau of Land Management. So it should be open to the public, so I'm not sure why they lock it. Uh, I know this is a common problem in Montana as well. People think they uh, own all the land that's around them and they uh, gate it and lock it all up so no one has any access to it. So I'm not sure if that's the case here. But anyway, I'm going to hop over this fence because there's no trespassing sign. There, there is <laughs> there is the absence of a no trespassing sign. So uh, as far as I know, I won't be trespassing. Plus I looked on uh, a map and saw that this is a BLM property. So I should be able to access this and actually get up onto this mining area back behind me. So it's gonna be a couple mile hike. So let's get going. Now this area of Poison Canyon is actually supposed to be a very uranium rich area and they did a bunch of reclamation on this uh, area some years back and so they buried a lot of the uranium ore piles that were left over and all this other stuff so I'm just gonna go out there see what I can find see how radioactive it is and yeah hopefully it's something cool we'll see so this is like kind of right at the very beginning of getting in here this is an old uranium mining site it looks like maybe the site of a mill or something like that, but the level of radiation I'm getting here is very low. I mean, it's definitely elevated, but nothing crazy. So they must have uh, taken a lot of the mill tailings and leftover uranium ore and just buried it. I guess that's their idea of uh, doing reclamation out here. <laughs> It's like they don't want to remove it they'll just bury it so people can't get access to it it just doesn't make any sense to me whatever there's also a marker here a survey marker in the foundation whatever that's about yeah cool let's keep going upon closer inspection it looks like that isn't a survey marker it's actually an abandoned mines marker which is interesting, it makes me wonder where is the mine at. I know this area has some very interesting kind of uranium deposits. Some I've seen like right on the surface. And so I don't know if that's how this was or if there is a shaft somewhere around here that I'm not seeing that they filled in, which is very probably more than likely the case. Oh, that's my rat eye telling me that there, or not my rat eye, <laughs> the rat of code telling me that there's something hot right around here. Might have to get out the rat eye B20 and see if there's anything in this area right now because that rat of code 101 just alerted me. I don't have the alert set very high, but higher than normal. I think I have it set to like 0.5 microsieverts. So if it sees that, it tells me something's up. So I'm just gonna look there really quick, see what I find. And yeah, I'm definitely seeing like green. And this nice little guy, he's a little hot. And I was just sitting on top of this pile right here. So I'm gonna put that piece I just found, that one right down there. I'm just gonna put it by the gate since I'm right by the gate here and so I'll remember it on the way out. I don't wanna carry it with me uh, all the way back to this mining area because it's uh, quite a hike. Uh, this looks like another uranium mining site. Not much left out here now, that's for sure. The other thing that I've noticed on this trail is that anytime I run across like that kind of grayish rock, looks like uh, like sandstone, grayish sandstone, my Geiger counter goes off. So I think that's where all the dumps are. 
And so if you're ever looking for uranium out here and just walking around, those would probably be the place to go. But I have a different uh, spot up here <laughs> that I want to check out that from Google Earth uh, looked pretty good. So I'm going to see if it uh, pans out or if this was just a big old exercise. This is always a good sign if you're looking for a mine. Find a bunch of cores that core down into the earth, down into the rock, and see if there's anything of value. That's kind of how they delineate the mineralization. It's pretty cool. A little cross section of the host rock. Look at that cactus. I was just walking right by here and all of a sudden I walked over this and my radicates started going off. So let's see what it is. It's a hot rock laying right in the middle of the road. Now let's get this bad boy out of here and see, see what it is. Yeah, it's got some decent color on it. Might be pretty nice actually. Let's give it a look-see. around 51,000. Oh, now I just shot up to 120,000. Yeah, I have to take that one back. So this is the property boundary of public lands and it's squished right between two private lands, or at least one. So I have to unhook that guy and then deal with all this tumbleweed. Shouldn't be too bad, I should be able to squeeze by. of a tetanus shot right here. Woo! Put you over there. I'm gonna take what I can get right here. Right, got my tripod over there. Let's see how this all shakes out here. Uh, not too bad. Yeah. Is that when I leave? What is it with uranium mines and old cars or parts of old cars? <laughs> Seems to be a reoccurring theme with uh, uranium mines. All right, I'm getting close. It's happening. Whew. It's been an interesting hike, let's put it that way. So, every once in a while, just right now, I was just getting like a, a whiff of mine air, and it's kind of hard to describe. It feels a little cooler and it has like this kind of like musty smell to it. My rat eye keeps alerting me that something's going on here. Yeah, I need to change my uh, alert level. Might be a little too low right now getting close to this uranium mine. All right. Just wanted to share that, that, that mine air, just getting whiffs of it. So there might be a open shaft around here or something. It doesn't just come from right out of the ground. It has to be something that's open. It's gotta be something around here. Almost there. Looks like this might have been like some sort of like water container or air container if they had like air driven equipment, stuff like that. Looks like maybe it sat on top of this guy over here 
And I'm not sure what is going on over here, but it looks like they just bulldozed this whole area. But yeah, it's definitely radioactive here. Uh, somebody picked up a piece of carnitite right here. You can tell that yellow, and it's really hot when I walk over it. Hear my radica going nuts. Yeah, this might be a really big piece in here. Eh, not that bad. There we go. Whew. So that piece wasn't uh, as strong as I'd like. It was about 29,000, 30,000 counts per minute. It's about a thousand times uh, background radiation. So it's not that strong. I just thought it would have been stronger because it had all that yellow carnitite on it. But let's keep looking. Miner's junk out here. It's like there's part of a structure. Not sure what it was though. And part of a car. And a can. And a foundation. These trees have taken it over now. Well, I think that's just about gonna do it for this section of Poison Canyon. I didn't find anything too crazy like I was hoping to find, but uh, yeah, that's the way it goes. You win some, you lose some. Still found some cool stuff though. Some nice little hot pieces. But anyway, I wanna head back down. Hopefully I won't run into too many problems and hopefully my truck is still there. I've never had a problem, at least not yet. of anyone messing with my ride or my stuff. So I'm hoping everyone's good nature rings through today. Whew. All right, back at the truck. Ah, oh, so that was a fun uh, four and a half mile hike. <laughs> uh, I wish I would have found more. I mean, there's some stuff there, but uh, yeah, just not what I was really expecting. I was expecting a little bit more, but still I found some, uh, found some uranium and I'm bringing it back with me. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this look at a Poison Canyon or a section of Poison Canyon. I wanted to go to some of the other mines that were out here, but they're on private property and I didn't want to, you know, trespass. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.